What's up, YouTube? Shiz and Jan here. Uh, a very, very rare special occurrence. Um, yeah, very. I, I even had to take the sponsorship off the screen. Uh, <laughs> this isn't usually... So usually we are not people that react to news or... Well, not not news, but like leaked news, right? Like we yeah. usually do videos for presentations and stuff like that. Uh, but if you've been following us, at least on Twitch, you know uh, Ross Cindy Gang has been building up the squad we've been playing a lot of pokemon unite lately and yeah. uh honestly it's a testament to this guy over here that i even started playing this game he, he was on it way before me and uh we've been having a lot of fun playing it and then just building our own small little community around it so yeah uh, and we're always excited to hear about new pokemon coming out for the game but this was news that was this is leaked news that's that's so fucking big uh that it's has to it's gonna change the meta for a while he doesn't know what it really? is really so i have I'm, no I'm idea gonna, so yeah the, the, the meta's way. gonna change up for a bit uh and we're gonna learn how to adapt it's, okay it's not I, I wouldn't say it's as big as emblem but it's anyway so <laughs> i'm so, i'm so nervous i'm excited and nervous let me see it let me see it so uh let me see we do know that from uh, the playtesting news that was coming out that Urshifu and Dragapult are the two new characters coming out, I believe. Urshifu is yeah. an all-rounder, Dragapult is a attacker, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. So, shout out to El Chico Eevee, uh, usually has the news out. So, we're going to start off with some pictures of Urshifu's stuff. So, we were correct in assuming you get the dark, uh, the single strike and the rapid strike. Uh, yeah. The rapid flow whatever they're called so kind of like scyther scissor he has several moves uh separate you know path uh and then you get a cute little kung fu i believe kung fu has rock smash and headbutt the uh eevee chico has m chico eevee whatever el chico eevee has everything absolutely everything the and like yeah. not in terms of like the <laughs> specific stat damages but the title and everything so uh it's all data mind leak so there's dragapult Cool. Uh, Dragapult has a very interesting Unite, but we'll get into that in a moment. Um, so this is the example of uh, you having to make the choice between the single strike or the uh, rapid water attack. Yep. Yep. Honestly, me personally playing through a uh, sword, I went with the water one. Uh, okay. Way less uh, typing weaknesses, but obviously typing doesn't make a difference in this game. So. Um, now, okay, so this is just an example of like, hey, Scissor, Scyther kind of had that same thing going on. But they didn't yeah. have this little icon, so I think that's a little update to the character. Um, okay. That's cool, I like that. So here is a gameplay video of Dragapult's Unite. Dragapult's Unite is actually just a regular move. So he has three moves. So it, it's, it okay. has two charges and a 10 second cooldown for its Unite. So it shoots out the two uh, drapies out of its head. That's and it, and it awesome. locks on. It locks on. So I, I think the fact that it's a lock on mechanic is why it's in the Unite field. Uh, mm -hmm. So so yeah, I think a three second cooldown in between the two charges. Yeah, three second cooldown between the two uh, the two shots, and then a ten second cooldown for the overall reset on that. Um, that is that alone is insane. Yeah, because you have you have items that are tailored towards boosting the damage you do for a short amount of time after mm -hmm. you do your unite so if you do like an i don't know i think it's energy amp which boosts your basic attack speed and attack power right for like two to three seconds afterwards if that works with that unite recharging every mm. 10 seconds mm -hmm. that is insane, insane amounts of damage right Right. That's like 150k damage a match right there. You know what you're doing. You can go, yeah, you can go absolutely crazy with wow. Uh, yeah, the the cooldown reduction for Dragapult, especially it being the attacker out of the two. It's all yeah. about getting that damage in. Um, wow. Okay. So glad okay, I spent twenty dollars on gems yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> now, so here is uh, Kung Fu. So unseen fist is their passive. Not sure exactly what that is. Maybe it's like a. Uh, a combo third strike or something like that kind of how like Scyther has and and Scizor have uh, a build up and then 
mm -hmm. a heavy hit at the end of it if you do the combo <laughs> right. Uh, so yeah, rock yeah. smash had but and then if you go down the the uh, the single strike route, you get wicked blow, which is the <laughs> default like uh, like their signature move, and then throat chop, and yeah. then surging strike and liquidation for uh, the other one. No word on the unite move though. Wait, is this okay? So now I'm giving you a decision here. There's okay. two routes we can go right now. Oh man! <laughs> Look at it, just like in unite. Okay. God damn either, it! Either I show <laughs> you the third Pokemon, or mm -hmm. I show you the thing that I wanted, the big news. So now, what do you I want? I think we go third Pokemon, okay. and then so the big news. What I do you think? To, do you think that makes I'm sense? I'm all for that. I was. That's what I actually wanted to do, but I wanted to get your input. So the reason it why makes I have sense, to. sense, right? Yeah. If we go Urshifu and Dragapult, why not go for the third? I mean, I have no idea who, who the third even is. Right. So. I'm gonna have to like pop back and forth. For a That's, fine. Bit. Uh, That's fine. So That's fine. That's fine. Here's here's the reveal. Uh, take a guess what it is. Now, okay. I mean, I have no idea if it's one that that's that that's been leaked or if it's. I have you know. no idea if this has been leaked before, but this was a shock to me, so I don't. Okay, think it was I just want to see. It. Just, just let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Comfy. Wait, what? <laughs> Comfy, as a support class. I like that. We need more supports in we the game. Do, we do. We do need more supports. But now it's been a while since we've gotten a defender class. So I'm I was hoping it would be a defender class. Like obviously not this Pokemon. I didn't think this would be a defender. But I was hoping yeah. we would soon get so hopefully in the next trio we get a defender and either another speedster or something. I think all around are an attacker are good. <laughs> like they're Yeah, set. I think so. Like every time we get a group, there's at least one of those. But yeah. Yeah. So this is the uh the next third. Um yeah. and now I'm gonna, so I'm you gonna actually, swap over. You are right, because I think I think Clefable isn't a defender. I think Clefable came out as a support. As so a we support, actually did yeah. just get a support. Yes, yeah, sweet. Mm -hmm. So now we're getting a lot of support love. I mean yeah. still I love it because I feel like supports can always use love. Right. If you can make supports appealing because i mean look it's there's no secret supports are one of the worst classes to bring in solo queue right but when we're running you know on twitch.tv slash broth cindy with like you know a group of three or like a five stack mm -hmm. we're gonna need one support especially if we keep winning the way that we've been winning and we keep ranking up right we're gonna need to eventually have better team comp and we don't necessarily have that we're just playing <laughs> as each of our individual best characters and it's just working because we're for where we are we're good at the game with you know with what with what we have so right. anyways I, I like it i like it yeah and uh no i agree like you you need that balance you need that uh that that mindset on the field uh and we just gotta someone has to bite the bullet and be the support usually yeah. i i am kind of a support class in games in general like you know me as i have no problem playing a medic but I think we need that strong top laner then. But whatever, that's a conversation for after. So again, another yeah. one without the Unite info, um, but Triage and Vine Whip for the starting moves, and then Floral Healing, Magical Leaf, uh, Sweet Kiss, Grass Knot. Now I'm assuming the split is uh, Floral Healing, Magical Leaf, Sweet Kiss, Grass Knot as the two separate, like... Yeah. Because uh, Floral Healing and Sweet Kiss both seem like support move kind of thing yeah. as well magical leaf and grass not seem more like the attacking thing um so it could be very interesting gonna flip back again because uh these things are not exactly in order but here's some pictures of is that a oh. is, that, is that a shiny lucara <laughs> so yeah maybe that's <laughs> got something to do with magical leaf it kind of builds up like uh Dragon yeah, I, was gonna say, I think something. it is magical leaf like with the hue like like that purple hue over okay that's, that's grass, grass not. not i thought it turned yeah. lucario into <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay so floral healing is my assumption unless that's the ultimate which that kind of looks like it could be the ult um, yeah or the unite sorry um okay, it's comfy nice i'm a little bit worried hold on i like it i really really like it okay so there's a here's a little bit more info on comfy pokemon gains one flower whenever a set amount of time passes Gains four flowers when it enters the tall grass. Can have a maximum of eight flowers when it uses synthesis, floor healing, or sweet kiss. So synthesis is the ultimate, then the unite move. Okay. Uh, 
So that kind of makes sense. All flowers attached to it are consumed. And the effects of those moves are boosted. That's oh. so wow. cool. Wow. So you're, you're... Also, I love it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, you're kind of in the benefit of like how like Sableye, you're running around hiding. Uh, as Comfy, you're kind of like the support version of that. You're hiding. Uh, yeah. And and yeah. while healing your team in, in a hidden spot. That's actually yeah, kind I mean, of beneficial. What I really like is this is the first Pokemon that like there is always a benefit of hiding, which is mm -hmm. like being not visible to the opponent. But now there's like an actual benefit right. to your own, you know, Pokemon's ability in the game like it mm -hmm. actually improves them other than just you hiding out in the grass and hoping that your opponent doesn't run into the grass and see you so that's really cool oh my god hold on hold on hold on i, I don't know if you kept what? reading wait no where okay so also this pokemon movement speed is increased when near an ally pokemon at half remaining health, health or less the pokemon can attach itself to an ally pokemon when it uses any of these healing uh, moves, while attached, the Pokemon with this ability is not affected by attacks, and it gradually heals HP. What? That is so <laughs> what crazy. Fuck? That Bro, is could crazy. Could you imagine me as me as as this Pokemon latching onto you as Scizor while you're beating the oh crap out of you with your bullet punch? And I'm just like I'm that healing. That is nuts. That is not that like is literally insane. your job as Comfy is to just heal, hide and heal. That's it. I love that. Oh my god, that is crazy. Imagine, I love imagine that. a company as a jungler. Like, it's only killing wild Pokemon. And it's like, <laughs> hey, I need help. And it's like, I got you. And then yeah, you're like, a, like an emergency medic. You just <laughs> run over and you just attach to the Pokemon. I love that. Holy shit, that is crazy. That is so cool. I it, really like that. It also gains more Aos energy while it's attached than the maximum it can hold. It can take excess. Bro, and you can double stack. Look at that last sentence. When the ally, when the ally Pokemon, this Pokemon is attached to scores of gold, this Pokemon scores with the same amount of energy. This is like Dodrio on crack. Bro, like <laughs> I mean, obviously the caveat for something like Comfy is that it can't attack. There's no way it, it's viable on a field alone. Like it has to be yeah. building up. That is, but these are crazy abilities. I didn't even read this yeah. yet. I didn't read this until right now. That's why I'm acting like so shocked. Holy that is shit. insane. That is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, comfy with a smiley face, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we do have some uh Okay, some of their stats actually. Um so this is for Urshifu. I guess it doesn't matter which uh side you go on. Yeah, this is all base stuff. I mean, this is gonna be much better to look at when you can go on like a site like Unite DB and you can just compare everyone's mm. base stats per level. Um but I mean, right. you know, I yeah, don't have that. I don't yeah, have that. I don't memorized. know, like, by default, what our characters look like compared to these yeah. charts. But I do want to see. Okay, so like, assuming, like, Urshifu is the all-arounder, so like a 480 attack, right? All right. So, so hold on. So he he's an all-arounder. So if we go on Unite DB right now, we can do that right now on your screen, I guess. And we can look at Azumarill. I think Azumarill is an all-arounder. Right. We can see what does Azumarill, what does his stat look like? Look like level 15. Let's see. So if you crank that all, all up to 15. Okay. His attack, 461. 461. His should be more. Okay, yeah. 480. 480. 480. I mean, he is he a legendary higher. Pokemon. So like, yeah. he should be. But now his special attacks. Okay, special attack. His special defense is... Damn, okay. But his HP is less. No. Okay, so he's just better than his... <laughs> yeah. Holy so shit. like, now that's interesting to me because... You saw I I love Azumarill. I feel like right. I was putting in work as as Azu yesterday. I had like a twenty kill, three assist game. Right, yeah, no, you were going. It makes crazy. me wonder because like I'm assuming Urshifu is also going to be a physical attacker. Yeah, could he's, you imagine he's running attack later. weight, running attack weight on Urshifu? Yeah, and then just you keep stacking, and then all of a sudden you're just oh, like laning shit. like a monster. Oh fuck, 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 fuck! Like, like Urshifu and Scizor just like beating the Absolute ever living ever. hell. <laughs> out of uh you know in top lane i don't know that's very exciting to me Maybe. and then he's an attacker yeah which i guess yeah that kind of makes sense right his defense is lower he makes sense his defense makes is sense. lower yeah yeah so he yeah dragapult being all about attacking makes sense hp low yeah. as hell um yeah and, i mean which kind of makes sense right he's going to kind of be like a glass cannon and i think even if his stats end up being less than the average attacker you have to factor in the fact that his unite 
or his alt mm -hmm. is good to go after like once you have it unlocked like every eight to ten seconds whatever it was right that is such a game changer that i'm is. telling you that's going to be it's going to be insane if it if it procs with energy amplifier mm -hmm. i mean i i don't know why you wouldn't run energy amp and buddy barrier because that boosts like buddy barrier will give everyone in your area like that's on your team a shield when you use your unite why wouldn't you do oh, that yeah if you're no, like of course yeah just you know? constantly spamming yeah. your unite unless they don't classify it as a unite in that case which if it if that is the case then yeah no don't use it but 100 yeah. percent, like you would be <laughs> like in those final battles especially with rayquaza just keep spamming that that move you'd be holy shit yeah wow yeah i didn't even think about that because i don't know if you have access to items on the test server and if you do i would love to see spraggles put out a video or spraggles put out a video on that because he has uploaded like his sableye and zora arc videos initially were from mm -hmm. that play test server and i'm not sure if he was able to test it with like energy amp and stuff like that if you can that that would be amazing that way you can see okay co like comparing the damages if it does more damage with the energy amp on like if your basic attacks does more i mean i don't see how people don't buy Dragapult on day one right. it's like $30 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you know. uh, there was something that interesting that you said that I'll, I'll bring back up in a second but uh, these are Comfy's stats kind of what we expected uh, low on attack, very low defense but it's all about the special attack um, and the recovery I'm sure Yeah, I have no idea what tenacity means but it caps out on its tenacity at level 7 so whatever that means <laughs> interesting um, i have no idea but uh so i think that's it for the okay yeah because then he goes back to regular news now i'm gonna flip back to the chat so i i did say you said something very interesting right yes um, you said i think it would be i, I don't, you said you didn't know whether or not held items were in the uh, test thing right which i'm here Correct. to tell you they definitely are because we get oh six God. new held items and one new battle item. So we're getting new held items. We're getting new held what items. What is that? And <laughs> <Panuelo> combo. <laughs> so, uh, I think that's um, focus sash. I think that's focus sash. Okay. Oh, it Not, probably is. Yeah. Or whatever that is. Uh, some kind of crown. You get another uh, policy. That's Hold not. On. That's not King's Rock, is it? No, no, no. No, it's, no, no. It's, so it's, I think it's, it's, I think it's another, it's another breakdown crown. of it. But the battle item, so this makes you invulnerable. Like you're, so it's a Shed Ninja fucking, thing. Yeah, fucking Shed Ninja. Oh my so God. It makes you invulnerable for, for a little bit of time. You're like in, immune to shit. So this is I why I'm saying that. new items is going to change the meta for a little bit. All right. Like we're going to have to yeah. adapt, but absolutely insane that we're getting brand new items we're also getting a draft pick mode so now i'm assuming what? this is for ranked but you get to say hey oh my god you cannot pick this character for this match or hey hey teammates i really want to play as this character let's vote to keep this character in so basically i don't know how i don't know if this is something that i would get into but yeah a draft that pick is mode. crazy <laughs> well what this does is if you're good at playing as multiple poke you Come have the advantage. This benefits yeah. you strongly because then you're flexible and you can make the adjustment mm -hmm. if you need to. Um, I think that's. I think that could be a really fun mode to play on stream as right. like a breather. True. True. From us grinding ranked. Yeah. Wow. I wonder when all these are coming out. I wonder if these are going to come out for the update in three weeks. Yeah. So the fact that this has a. So maybe. Maybe. Um, so yeah. Now it starts to go out of order a little bit. So some of them have the the stats so drain crown restores drain hp crown. equal percent to percent of damage dealt with attack base basic attacks stats and hp and attack with so i think that would be good on so restores hp equal to percentage of damage dealt with attack based basic so i'm, I'm immediately thinking of pokemon that spam their basics or just do yeah. like regular so like, like i think azumarill could be interesting because when right. you do aqua tail i'm then using my basic and it's just like a boosted basic mm -hmm. or um freaking cinderace because all yeah. they're doing with cinderace is kicking those fireballs 
Man, that is great. Right. I love that because I spam my basics with Pokemon that aren't good at doing basic damage. I'm just mm -hmm. so used to spamming buttons. That's great. So there you go. That's the drown, <laughs> drown crown, drain crown. Drown crown. Uh, I think this was oh rapid fire scarf. I'm sorry, it wasn't even close. <laughs> Increases your Pokemon's basic attack speed by a certain percent for a short time after three basic attack. So now if you put these two on together, because now you're doing more basic attacks, and you're healing more, and you're healing more. My only question with that with that sad is what's the cooldown right like if it's just no cooldown after your third attack right that's crazy that is <laughs> wow like are you know, you just i really it. like about this is i think you were able to buy items with tickets and coins and i feel like unless you're using tickets to actively get those item enhancers which i mean i still am and i know you right. still are and right, yeah. you know i think buying these items are smart the only advice i'd give because i mean these all sound really really good Give it a few days and see what guys like Spray will say because they're gonna buy it. They're gonna test it You don't want to waste your coins because you can't refund it and right. then be like, oh, this, this item sucks Like see what it does see what Pokemon it makes sense for and if you use those Pokemon And if it if that item fits your playstyle with that Pokemon then yeah, go crazy I also do wonder how they're gonna incorporate right so like for for these obviously you can buy but For something like the Shininja thing you don't buy these battle items you earn them so oh, you're right is it gonna be like a special event are they gonna add it to uh like the level up system like they're just gonna retroactively we're all gonna receive this at level 20 or whatever because i don't remember when when you get a jet button what 18 or something i think so yeah, yeah so then maybe like retroactively you get this at some point um but then yeah definitely the other ones you would have to they would just be added to the store uh so the others we don't get the uh, the pictures for, but here they are. Slick spoon affects special attack, curse special spangle attack. Okay. attack, curse incense special attack, rescue hood HP and move speed. I think assuming just based off these, that would be fantastic for something like Comfy. I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, there's also a little bit more, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Okay. You can now gift people stuff. So you like gift I them can... clothes, wow. Pokemon, I like everything. So you can also gift them battle passes. So now if that's you want to do cool. giveaways and stuff like that. Oh, that's great. You can just do it. Um I, Oh, I love that. So I think that's I think that yeah, I think that's all of it. Um That is such a huge W bro, for I, the Pokemon Unite. We wow. needed something fresh Ow. besides like look, I love getting new Pokemon all the time. And I think just seeing that news like that it was Urchfu and Dragonfall, I was like, okay, cool. Those are Pokemon that I, I like their designs and everything outside of this game. So now let's see what they're like playing. Comfy is yeah. definitely a shock. Uh it's a surprise pick, but some of its stat like this info in this was absolutely insane that um, is nuts that is i mean we needed a new support i think because yeah. i felt like Clef like clefable was kind of like a better version of blissey right which is what blissey. uh yeah, blissey exactly yeah. which is what you said mm -hmm. and i agree which is kind of like okay like that's cool but can we find a way to reinvent a support class it, yeah and they did that with comfy yeah. that's wow that's... like i did not think you were going to present a support Pokemon as a third Pokemon that I would be like, I want that Pokemon because I need a good support. I really do. Right. And I think supporting you as whatever Pokemon you want to play as in top lane um, in the coming weeks, whether it's a Sableye or, a, you know, whatever. Well, I forget. I think I Sableye is a support. Oh, maybe he is I too. I think he right. is a support, but he's more like that because uh, he kind of has the ability to make a ward uh, out of enemies. You know, like I can hide uh, the fake Aos energy in certain spots, and then once they trip Correct. on it, now we see them on the map. Um, Correct. So, yeah. So he's kind of a, a support in that sense. Um, but it's it's nice having these different styles of supports. Um, Absolutely. And this no, is this great. is a full blown friggin' healer class right here. Like I I don't think like I don't expect Comfy to be attacking that much. Like I said earlier, was, this is just like heal. 24 7 like this is your job yeah if you're picking this pokemon yeah. if you do anything but that i don't know what to tell you <laughs> like 
Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I'm I'm very very excited. I'm very excited. I would not be shocked if, if between Dragapult, Comfy, and Urshifu, that Comfy's the most OP of all right. of them. Because look, because, uh, yeah, because that's it attaching, I assume. And that's, that's it with pretty Mind cool. Yeah. I shit. love that. That is crazy. That is nuts, bro. So, yeah. So a lot of big stuff. Now you can kind of see why I was I was super excited to show yeah. you this news. I was like, we we got to get to this tonight. I thought it would take us ten minutes. It kind of took us a little bit more than uh, I that, expected. That's okay. I that's okay. I love it. I love this is major. This is super major. Yeah. Like I'll tell you, I was a little worried that you were gonna be like, so they're they're changing the, the map again, which is fine. But right. like for me, I'm still enjoying the freaking Sky Ruins. I don't think yeah, that we're I don't think it's old enough yet. Change yet? Yeah, exactly. Maybe but, a new quick oh, map. Yeah, I mean that would be nice. That would be nice. I know that they treat the holidays that we get as times to bring out the different maps. Like we're gonna get right. the the Christmas one for Shiver City, I think soon. Mm -hmm. um, but we really needed a battle item overhaul badly and. Right. I mean, this whole draft mode thing is so random, and I think it's great. I think it's great for content creators that are going to be doing like games together. And you know, like I wonder if like, see, like what I'm wondering is if you pick a Pokemon that I'm assuming eliminates that Pokemon choice from being selected from the other team as well, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if I pick a Zumarill, then the opponent, the opposing team, none of them can pick a Zumarill. But then if they pick I don't know Charizard. Then Shania can't play as Charizard. So, you know? so the way, it, to my understanding, um, it's just a voting system of, I don't know how many Pokemon you can vote no on, but you can just stop the other team from picking a Pokemon. Period. So, like you said, like that's interesting. Yeah. So it's not like, hey, I picked it and now, like I picked it for me to play and now you can't play it. It's none of us are playing this fucking Pokemon. That's crazy. So you can be like, hey, I'm tired of getting my ass whooped by that the <laughs> file, Mr. Mom. <laughs> Mr. Mom can go oh my himself. Oh uh, my god. <laughs> and just vote him out. You can you know, things like yeah. that. Um So I mean I like that. Yeah. I like that. Um you know. It really yeah, it really it might complicate things, but I think they obviously won't be a default for everything. I think it's maybe something they'll try out or either maybe not exclusively rank, but a setting in rank. Um, yeah. We'll just see how many people actually gravitate towards it. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but we'll see. Uh, it yeah. makes sense why there's so many Pokemon though now. <laughs> like, you, yeah. you need a lot to get to this point. Um, Absolutely. Especially like, could you imagine being I mean, it's cool. someone who like... You just got the game. You only have five characters, and they <laughs> they just block you from getting it immediately. Um, I know. Well, what I'm wondering is if this is a game mode where all Pokemon are available to you for that exact reason. True. It would it, right, it would have to be that case, right? Because what yeah, if you, you don't only have, have like yeah. four licenses, you have... and you, yeah, and you know you can't pick the Pokemon that your well, other teammates then have. It, you know what? If you only have four licenses, you know what? Dude, damn it! I was trying so hard not to curse. Uh, you know what you do? You just, uh, you just, you get a friend to send you a license. That's it. That's yeah. It. Go to it. every every big streamer on Twitch. Be like, gift me. License, oh my god! Please. It's gonna be just like when we were playing Rocket League. Remember that when random guys would just come into matches? Like, hey, can I buy your car? Oh, oh I remember. my god! My god, I remember. Just gonna that. get friend requests and spam messages all the time. Probably not, but you know. <laughs> yeah, no, that that was insane. That was definitely insane. Hey, hey Jan Moses, um, I love your outfits. Can I buy it? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I'm assuming it's not like, hey, I have this. Here you go. It's like, hey, I'll just buy this for you and send it to you. Um, yeah, which is which is nice. I, I could see them releasing that in time for the holiday season. You know, that's what I thought the gift exchange thing was. I didn't know yeah. that it was like, I thought like, oh, cool. We can give stuff to people. No, I mean, like if I'm sending someone license though, <laughs> that best friend score better go up more than two points. Okay. That, that, yeah. that thing needs to skyrocket. At least four. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> At least four. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that's, that's uh, it. Well, there you go. Uh, we're at the end of the video. If you want some magic spoons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to take it off on this screen, but um, 
I yeah, love it. honestly, incredible news. Uh, it's very exciting. Very exciting. I'm excited I'm for so a lot pumped. more changes. Yeah, I genuinely I'm did so not pumped. expect like uh, items, like new items and stuff like that to even be a thing. Like with all yeah. the ideas that I've had, that was not on that list. Like, uh, you know, map yeah. ideas and, and game modes and stuff like that. But I'm excited. Uh, that means they're, they're really thinking about this game, at least, you know, hopefully long term but like more than just like hey here we go we're just dropping new pokemon we're uh it's it's crazy how this leaked because at the same time as this leak is going on scarlet and violet is completely everywhere uh it's leaking like crazy pokemon are being shown off every 10 minutes uh i'm sure and i think the difference between the two is like this is at least in play test stuff that people were gonna see anyway it's just that someone correct data mined it uh and maybe not all of that will be seen whereas the other one's like just <laughs> leaked early because stores are irresponsible um so it's, yeah. it's unfortunate uh you know these people work hard on this stuff and they probably don't want things to be seen when they're not ready uh but genuinely this makes me super excited for uh the future of unite and now if you'll just add a gen 9 pokemon <laughs> to advertise scarlet and violet you might as well have put the pokemon in there because it all leaked out anyway oh so. my god <laughs> I give them 2023. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. early 2023. I expect the general Pokemon. Very early. No, these are all very, very exciting changes. You know, like to your yeah. point, I know Sprague threw out a video, I think like a couple weeks ago about is Pokemon Unite dead? Yeah. And it was like, it could be or it couldn't be. I think this sort of investment shows that they plan to keep it going yeah. at least for a little while longer. And I think that's, that's great. I mean, I think engagement in this game has still been really high. I know they still have plans to do another round of competitive tournaments next year, right. which is awesome because right. I really enjoy the, the competitive scene whenever I get a chance to watch and the community is generally very positive. So it would suck to see this game die and right. seeing them, you know, the, you know, all these, you know, what's called items coming, new Pokemon coming. It's, it's really nice to see, you it know, is. especially it for is. us because we're really getting, into, I think we played this game more in, in the last like month than mm. we had you know like prior months i don't know, i feel like we've really yeah. picked it up and we have our community going really strong we have guys like prof cat you know ro medusa now we have shania playing zach has played with us yeah Mew's, we have a solid community I, i'm interested yeah, Mew, to see what muse take is on all this as well yeah um, absolutely yeah. so uh yeah and I'm honestly pumped. yeah like the fact that like things like pokemon x master and or master sex whatever and uh pokey cafe like all these other side games are still going strong like they're doing pokey master stuff like all the time so like yeah i i'm glad that unite isn't being forgotten and that i think if they just you know advertise a little bit more to the games that they're putting out so that that way they coincide together and you know like <laughs> there should have been something for legends arceus but whatever but you know, just little things like that, I think um, really tie it closer to uh, what Pokemon's been doing lately. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what these new items are gonna do. I'm excited to uh, have a comfy attached to my hip, like a belt. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. right. And whatever else changes come, we'll be there. Join us on uh, on twitch.tv slash Cindy. Watch us play some uh, Pokemon Unite. Maybe we'll play with you, who knows? Uh, unless yeah. you're someone we blocked. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I mean, that's pretty much it for me. I don't know if you got. No, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see. I just kind of want to take it step by step, right? Yeah. Like we have all these cool Pokemon coming and all these cool battle items, but I still don't want to get too excited because we didn't have release dates on. We didn't have a release date on Sableye yet. We're assuming next week. Oh, no, it's six know? days. Yeah. Oh, it yeah, is. we do. So we do have a release date on, on we do. Sableye. Okay, and good. it's actually... Good. Perfect. So I turned on. If you turn on your switch now, the six-day countdown started already. You get your AOS nice. tickets. But the big thing, if you are watching this and you do care enough to watch us on on Twitch, next Wednesday is when Sableye is coming out. I will be streaming Sableye because I'm buying Sableye because then I'm off Thursday and Friday for the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So it's next week is just Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. So if you care about love Pokemon it. and you love to see us play. Uh, Come check us out, like I've already said a million times. Yeah. And buy some Magic no, Spoon be before uh, this Friday because our sponsorship is on. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Magic Spoon. I still have yes. the uh, cereal bar. Yeah, I still have the box. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So good. So good. 
Yeah, but hopefully see you guys if you yeah. guys are avid Twitch watchers um, in our next stream. And again, all next week, like Tony said, Pokemon all day, every day. All so day, be there. Day. That's right. Be there. Until then, peace out. Catch gotcha. you.